Hello guys. We got some more backpacking gear I wanted to share with you. So I got a sleeping bag that I really like. I'll do a separate video probably on the sleeping bag, but it's the Nemo Forte. I think that's the name of it. William's behind the camera again. Say hi. Hey. And so um, I really like it uh, in, so far. I haven't tried it out yet because it is, again, August in Florida. It's too hot to try out, but it's wonderful. And so I also got a backpack, which is, this is the Deuter backpack for women. And I really, one of the features I really liked was that it has a separate compartment down here for the sleeping bag, which I really like because it just seems like it would be easy to just take it out before you don't have to take out everything of your backpack. And so I thought these were going to be a beautiful marriage, but there's a problem. These are not compatible at all. And I'll tell you why this will not fit inside this pack. I got a synthetic sleeping bag for several reasons. We down compresses better, but it was important to us to get synthetic for a, it's a whole other video. And so as a result, this is about as small as it can get. And I, I cannot for the life of me fit it inside my compartment that I love so much. It's like, <laughs> it's really, it's really like, no, I brought it to the store to REI and the guy was like, this isn't going to work. Even when I try to get it in here through the top, it just, it doesn't work. So I needed to either get another sleeping bag or another backpack. So I chose to get another backpack and I want to show you. Goodbye, Joy. This is going back to the store this week. And I got a ULA circuit, which William got one before I ordered this. And it looked great. This is a lot lighter, first of all, than the Deuter. It's like 41 ounces, I think. Around there might be a little bit lighter than that. Um, but there's so much more room in this. And so I want to show you how this goes in. Okay, so move this way. Let me just pop it in. And it just slides right in. It's great. There's so much more room here. It's easier down this way. Oh, it's so great. It just slides right in, and I can maneuver it however I want, and it's much less stressful. So I think this is going to be a good switch anyway. Who knows if I'll end up with this in three and a half years. I think everything is going to be trial, trial by error, trial and error, I guess. But the other thing I wanted to show you is what we're learning. We're learning so much the whole time is that many people, this is a compression bag, compression sack, compression bag which helps compress, you can use them for clothes, sleeping bags, sleeping pads, things like that. But a lot of people, watch how this expands, first of all, it's like, I just think this stuff is so great. Um, a lot of people tend to forego the compression bags. Um, I have to figure out how to do my hair go. I'm learning everything, guys. Watch it, how it just comes out. Ooh. Okay, it just keeps going. All right. And what they do instead of using the compression bag is they just stuff it into the backpack itself like this in the bottom. What we're also learning is the proper way to pack a backpack is to put your sleeping bag on the bottom because you want the softest things down by your lumbar section. So they just shove the sleeping bag in like this. And I think that's the most like fun thing in the world. <laughs> like how many times do you not want to have to fold things up nicely? You just stop it. I think that's so great. And then it'll still keep squishing down when you're putting everything on top of it. And there's so much room in this pack. And this is a great upper body workout as well. And it just goes in there and then you just keep shoving it down and stuffing it in. And it's better too for it that it's not compressed, especially when it's synthetic, that that's not great for it. So we're gonna have to try everything. But I put so many other things on top of this the other day just to test it out. And so much still fits in here. So. We had a little problem and we got a solution and this is really fun and I can't wait to actually try these things out outside when it's cool out. That's all. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.